when we need something, we like to make it ourselves if we can. It doesn't really matter like what it is that I'm making, but the investigative process of creation and then the actual process of making it and going through the steps is really where I am the most happy. We had come close to being finished with the house and we needed countertops. We found out information on the internet about people making concrete countertops and looked at it and just kind of started messing with it until uh, we thought we could make something that we'd be happy with. One day Priscilla had the idea, why don't we check down there by the river where they dredge by the dam and see what that stuff's like. We got permission from the owner of the property and went down and um, filled up buckets. We started experimenting with it and made countertops for our house. My wife was like, well, let's, let's try to start a countertop business. And we just saw that there was a niche that needed to be filled. We just went for it. It's challenging and rewarding. Concrete's one of those things where it doesn't wait on you, you have to wait on it. For me, like I think the most creative part of it is finding the materials that go into making the countertops. The new is supposedly the second oldest river in the world. The river existed before the mountains did. The gravel that we get from behind the dam, it has in it really reflective, beautiful mica flecks that are like copper color, gold color. And then there's um, river mussel shells and sometimes snail shells. When we grind the countertops, those also get exposed. I guess to some extent that you're taking a whole bunch of things that would be nothing by themselves and create something that's one of a kind. People make a lot of solid color surface countertops. We generally do this with the aggregate exposed so that we can highlight the beautiful river gravel and make our product really unique kind of more analogizable to pottery than, than the other kinds of concrete, I think. It doesn't have to just end with countertops. Yeah, don't let it get no no looser than that. No, that's it. I'm ready, for you, ready to dump it. Yeah. I have a BFA in sculpture and ceramics. And I'm starting to do stuff with my ceramics again. Now that Todd and Mike have what they do down, and I was having free time, I came upon this idea for making the cabinet hardware, the knobs. For cabinets, I can throw them on the wheel, and then I have this little bowl, and I'm gonna melt glass, recycle glass in the bowl. What I love is working with unusual materials, making functional things. It's a functional piece of art. You use it every single day. We're creating it with, with materials that are either local with low embodied energies or are reclaimed or recycled. It just helps us to know that we're not perpetuating the uh, environmental cost and tolls associated with countertop products out there. I've always been a walker and so I go out and I notice things about the world and what's growing and what's, what kind of plants are out there and, and you just can't help but you know learn about the devastation. I don't want to be confrontational but I think that the more that we can help people see how important it is to protect what we still have, that's why we started what we are doing. We've developed something that's sustainable and I kind of like that part too.